years ago, Google Apps arrived to education with the goal of helping teachers and students learn and share together in new ways. And last year, we launched G Suite for Education to better reflect that same goal and to reinforce our commitment to making our tools even more collaborative and intuitive. It's the same set of apps teachers and students know and love, but designed with smarter intelligent features to make work a whole lot easier. And thanks to your feedback on our last Back to School episode, I'm here today to talk education and to highlight new features with Google Classroom and to give updates on our new Chromebooks for Education. When you think of Google Classroom, think of it as mission control for a class. Teachers can easily and paperlessly create classes, distribute assignments, and send feedback to their students with just a few clicks. Recently, we launched two new features to help teachers differentiate their instruction for their students. Teachers can now assign work to individual students based on their unique needs. As they're creating an assignment, post, or question, teachers can choose whether to share it with the entire class or just with a subset of their students. More importantly, these new features let teachers work with students who learn and grasp concepts at different paces. In addition to these new sharing capabilities for individualized student learning, we also wanted to help teachers deal with information overload, which can definitely be a tough thing to balance. So in Classroom, we have two new notification features to help teachers manage student work even easier. Teachers can now be alerted when students submit their work after the due date and when students resubmit their work. Teachers can also continue to use classroom notifications, like updates on their scheduled posts and comments on student work to help keep them organized throughout the school year. Along with updates specifically for teachers, we've also made classroom data available in the admin console reports. This allows administrators to see how many classrooms and posts have been created. And to stay on top of updates like these for teachers, admins, and even developers, check out our What's New in Google Classroom support article. Now, let's talk Chromebooks for Education. Earlier this year at BET, the world's largest ed tech conference, we launched a new generation of Chromebooks specifically designed for the needs of schools. Teachers wanted devices that supported a variety of learning environments. So that means Chromebooks that come in different shapes, sizes, and form factors. These new Chromebooks also tap into millions of Android apps, including the Adobe Creative Cloud. So let's take a look at the Acer Chromebook Spin 11. I want to call out three things. Number one, the stylus. For the first time, Chromebooks are now compatible with pens for student note taking and drawing. Not only do the pens look like a number two pencil, even equipped with a virtual eraser, but we've also used Google's machine learning to predict writing, so there's no lag time for students. And the pens are very low price, so teachers can keep them in a bin in case students lose one. There's also a world-facing camera, so students can capture images and photos from any direction for their classroom projects. This camera is uniquely on the keyboard side, so when a Chromebook is flipped, the camera faces outwards and students can hold it like a tablet. And to help with faster charging times and fiddling with all those different chargers, all Chromebooks will now have the super fast USB-C charging so teachers can easily power up those Chromebook carts. Whether it's introducing G Suite for Education or designing tools and devices specifically for the classroom, it's all done in commitment to our teachers and students. And as we continue to build on our tools, your input is critical. So please continue to send us that feedback. And lastly, make sure you pop over to the education blog and keyword. It's a great way to stay connected to product announcements and program updates. And of course, we'd love to hear what you thought about today's education episode, as well as topics you want us to dive into in the future. And make sure you tune in next week, same time, same place. In a previous episode, we talked about how to use the Explore button in Google Docs and Slides that make formatting, researching, and designing a snap. Well, the same is true for Google Sheets.